What I'd like to do in this short presentation is just walk you through some images that I've been using the filter system Alien Skin. And as you can see, this one is Snap Art 4 and it's the oil paint. Really nice effect. You've got lots of control with these filters as well. This one from the Impasto range, which is similar to the oil paint, but they do have some differences. And here I've used Photoshop layers to bring through just that strategic red color. Big, bold subjects are probably best for this type of work. Here you can see I've used Snap Art 4 colored pencil, but I've also added a bit of texture, but I'm able to remove a little bit of the detail around some of the subjects to make them stand out just a little more. Here we have a simple watercolour effect but when we apply a texture and remember the textures can be applied as a smart object. Very quick, very convenient. This one I quite liked because we can allow the colour to stream in around the quayside there which takes us nicely round to the boat. Quite a thick oil paint impressionist style but I think it works particularly well. Back to my old favourite, I did a few of this. This one is just a simple impasto. But again, the people were brought back a little bit away from the filter effect so that we can see them just a little more clearly. That's the problem with filters. Sometimes it can distort people just a little bit too much. Coloured pencil and again leaving all the colour in place. The styles here of course are via PTE AV Studio and these are slide styles. Here's a simple one of the Appleby Gypsy Fair, just a crayon, but again I've brought back the effects a little bit on the person's face and also the horse. Here we have the Snap Art Thick Paint used again and I've emphasised the colour around the girls and just once again brought a little more detail back for them just to make them stand out a little better. This one is a little harder to use, it's called Stylize, so on this particular image I've just used it on the outer edge. A little bit over the top for my taste but I'm sure it would have good effect on other pictures. An old image taken many years ago even before I was shooting RAW. A little bit of watercolour, bit of sepia, delicate bit of colour allowed to come through and then a shallow weave over the whole thing. And what better for a big bold shape than a huge red roadster car. Thick paint used here because here with the bold shape it's working particularly well. <laughs> 